You're gonna see a lot of niggas getting hot off of dope. All the fucking narcotics that, that you can name, niggas gonna be getting hot off of it. And we're gonna get their reaction. So, without further ado, let's get into this video. This is gonna be something, y'all. To be honest, y'all, this is gonna be something. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ah, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. The face of the epidemic. He grew up in the Boston suburb of Arlington, Massachusetts, went to high school there, and then on to college, where he became an addict. He could be your child or the kid next door. As the president said in his address on Saturday, 44% of Americans know someone who has been addicted to prescription painkillers. Well, tonight, correspondent DeMarco Morgan and producer Jonathan Blakely begin a special series, In the Shadow of Death, Jason's Journey. Real quick. Is this good enough, dude? Your eyes open, you think about heroin. Nothing else. Nothing else. And any addict that's watching this will like will attest to that. And if you don't have money, you think about how to we get money to get heroin tomorrow. immediately. We have start tomorrow. Jason Amaral's hunt for heroin began at 7:30 in the morning on a brisk day in downtown Boston. All right, I'll see you in like five minutes. He allowed our cameras to follow him as he tried to get money to get high. I have to get my money at Western Union, but you saved me a little? All right, I don't give a fuck. I'll go with you to wherever, buddy. I don't give a fuck. Are you serious? Come on. I'm, oh, yeah, don't answer your phone, you fucking dummy. From a parking garage, he called his Aunt Beth in Florida, begging for cash. Can you send me $30? Believe me, like, this is the last time I'm doing this to you. Like, I, I guess it doesn't work this time. I don't want to. Are you serious? He hopped a train to meet a friend who gave him a few pills of clonopin an anti-anxiety medication known to addicts to take the edge off the urge. How much are you all for these right now? And that we met you some heroin. He searched for a bathroom where he could crush and snort his pills. If we're in such a high drug area, they don't let people use the public bathrooms. So, Jason went for the one building he knows is always open to the public. Excuse me? Where's the entrance to the city hall? Right up there. Right up there. Right up there. Once inside city hall, I hope they don't check my bag, dude. He headed for a basement bathroom and put the money his aunt sent by Western Union to use. That's Kwan again. <laughs> Around noon, yeah, we met Jason on the street yeah, after he scored yeah, more drugs from friends. I just did some heroin and I was sick. You know, I just did a shot and I'm very, very high. Like, and I feel great and I'm gonna go do what I need to do to make money, you know what I mean? And uh, that's just how it is. But Jason's life wasn't always like this. He grew up in Needham, Massachusetts with his younger brother, Andrew, raised by a single mother who by all accounts gave her boys a happy childhood. But when Jason was only 11, his mom died of cancer. So the boys moved in with their father. In college, Jason started experimenting with a pricey pain pill, OxyContin, which soon led to heroin, and so began the life of an addict. The morning we met him, he was on multiple drugs. And like over the past three days, like what, what's in your system? Like what have you... What have I done? Don't. Um, heroin, clonopin, Xanax, cocaine, crack. That's it. Yeah, name all the shit that's in By that evening, we found Jason at a friend's house. The two had scored some heroin mixed with a powerful drug, fentanyl. That's your show right now, point one. They prepared it while the friend's three-year-old child watched a TV in the next room. Remember, that next morning, Jason's supposed to show up at a rehab center. 
His phone rang, and it was his younger brother, Andrew. Oh, it's my brother, my brother. Andrew is also an addict who called to tell his big brother he was dropping out of a detox clinic. Y'all, he needs to be detox. He really needs to be detox. All that cocaine and heroin, he needs to be detox. Well, I'm going to rehab tomorrow and I'm going to stay. I'm sorry. Dude. But as he begged his brother to get help, he couldn't help himself. Straight in. Uh, okay. When he hung up the phone, Jason was overcome with emotion. But not for long. Over the next couple hours, we watched as he nodded in and out, shot up again, snorted more pills, and saved some heroin for later. By then, his best friend, Mike Duggan, arrived. What's up? You ready to do this? Mike is a recovering addict who's been clean seven years and was taking Jason to rehab the next morning. It's life and death, like you will die if you don't get it this time. You know what I mean? Like, it's just really what it comes down to. The next morning, Jason, who has overdosed eight times and lived to tell about it, began the next chapter of his life. Good morning, Jason. How are you? We're so glad you're here. Now, Jason walked through those doors with at least five drugs in his system. And tomorrow, we'll show you Jason's first a tough week in detox, his struggle to survive, and Scott, the moment he's brought to tears after learning some bad news about his brother Andrew, who again is also a heroin addict. That's, that's, DeMarco Morgan, thank, thank you very much. Y'all, that, that's, 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 that's just, that's just a reminder not to do drugs, y'all. All, all, all that heroin, cocaine, so, do not do drugs. That's the that whole reason why I don't smoke. So, I'm, I'm Gucci. That nigga, that I don't know about him. That nigga, I don't fucking know about him. But anyways, y'all, next video. They laugh and lie to you. How is that funny to be honest? I can't understand how it's fucked up, bro. It's not just funny to be honest. It's not just funny to be honest. Ecstasy. Impure memory respiratory difficulty. Keep my fire. Impure memory respiratory difficulty. Keep my fire. Yeah. 
Yo, that's all the stuff that 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 ecstasy does to you. All that stuff I just said. I'm gonna block it out. There was a of real cocaine. Infection heart, kidney failure, respiratory system factor. What do you do? Yeah, what you do? All these drugs, that's what it crazy, you All that shit fucks up your body. All that shit fucks up your body. Alright, that nigga was high as fuck. That nigga was high as fuck. That nigga was high as fuck. I'm gonna watch. We're gonna watch one more video, y'all, and that's it. I'm gonna close out this video. I'm gonna watch. We're gonna watch one more video. Say, I'm gonna close out this video. Yeah, that's what I said. Okay, that's cool. Is everything okay? Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah. Anywhere. Alright. Okay. You want? 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 I ain't a drug that, no, I'm not a drug that. Right, so that's it, that's it. Alright, y'all, that's it. So, y'all, my, my answers for this video is don't do drugs at all because I just saw a person die from drugs. In the last video, we saw that nigga was hot, was hot, was hot as fuck. He was on cocaine. Heroin, ecstasy, all them, all them shits, y'all, that you get high off. He was on all them shits. Heroin, cocaine, and ecstasy. So, y'all, that just comes to show y'all that don't do drugs at all. I don't do drugs at all. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I, I drink, y'all, a little bit, but I don't drink as much, but I don't smoke at all, y'all. So, I think, I think y'all shouldn't do drugs, period, y'all. That's my opinion. I, I just think y'all shouldn't do drugs, period, because... That's what happens when it, when you get fucked up like that. 
you start blacking out, you start seeing shit. You, it's like you're in another dimension, y'all. When, when you're when you're really high, it's like you're in another dimension. It's like I'm in another dimension if I'm high as fuck. Just like just like them niggas. But anyways, y'all, that's all I have to say. So if y'all like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a like for me, subscribe, comment, share, turn post notifications so you don't miss every time I post because it's what over here. I'm JJ One Only. I'm out. I'm out.